and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Wednesday, January the 2nd, 2019. Yes, I'm getting used to saying that. 2019, can you believe it? This is episode 2934. My name is Bruce Turner. So glad to have you with us for today's Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, A Good Word. Stay tuned. As most of us know, words can be so very, very powerful. And um, I want to share with you one of the verses from the book of Proverbs. And I want it to be a challenge for you today. Uh, I want it to be something that can be a part of your mission. Proverbs 12 verse 25 says, Anxiety in the heart of man causes depression. But a good word makes it glad. So, I guess the first thing for us to think about for ourselves today is, are we glad? Are we depressed? (laughs) Maybe you need a good word today. I'll be honest with you. I have a little bit of anxiety about a a particular issue in my life today, and I'm, I'm hoping to get a good word on it. But anxiety in the heart of man causes depression. But a good word makes it glad. Now, from time to time, we all struggle with anxiety. And by anxiety, I don't just mean the clinical diagnosis as defined by the American Medical Association. I mean the everyday version of anxiety. You know, the fears and the cares that might give you a heavy heart when maybe things aren't going quite as you hoped they would go. We can all suffer from that kind of anxiety. And the Apostle Paul wrote, be anxious for nothing. In Philippians chapter 4, he's referring to his own anxiety in that very letter. In chapter 2, he wrote to the church at Philippi that he needed to send their messenger Epaphroditus back to them. So in part that Paul might have less anxiety. Too often the world's wisdom and even often much of the church's advice focuses on the anxious person and what they can do to resolve their anxiety. But the Bible's treatment for anxiety involves more than just the anxious person doing the right thing, saying the right prayers, (laughs) following the proper diet and getting the right amount of sleep. It also involves friends. An anxious heart. Listen to it again. Anxiety in the heart of man causes depression, but a good word makes it glad. Have you ever found yourself sitting with a friend, maybe even a stranger in a coffee shop, listening to their troubles and wishing you knew just what to say? I've been in conversations like that many times. And as often as not, I don't have just the right thing to say that will make the cause of their anxiety disappear. But even when you and I are in that situation and simply can't resolve our friend's troubles all at once or even at all, you know what you can do? (laughs) We can give a kind word. A kind word. Let's ask God to give us the grace and wisdom to know when to simply offer a kind word to an anxious soul. Who knows how God might use a moment of cheer in a difficult situation. Father, it's very simple today. 
our mission, our goal, in part, is to look for opportunities to give a good word. A good word. An uplifting word. An encouraging word. Maybe, maybe even just a funny word. It can make a difference. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmana.com. My email address, Bruce Turner at gmail.com. Thanks for listening today. Have a great day as you look for opportunities to dispense some good words. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy. Choose joy.